Hey guys, I uh, figured I'd shoot a quick video. You know, I'm fortunate enough to live uh, near lake access on Lake Norman. And, uh, you know, I just came down here. I was essentially had my head in the computer for days um, and then intermittently, uh, you know, trying to celebrate my son's seventh birthday, uh, which we were able to do, had a great time. But I came down here to the dock just to kind of defrag and I saw a fish on a bed. Yeah, it's late April, almost May. And this is the southern end of the lake and there are still fish on beds. Uh, this was a fry garter. I did catch a glimpse of a big female with them that just kind of passed through. Uh, they nuzzled and the female went off. Um, she didn't seem too interested in sticking around. But, you know, I knew this fish had probably been caught before just based on its location. There's a lot of kids in the neighborhood. Uh, there's also a lot of fishermen. So, um, and, you know, and some of the kids that actually fish in this neighborhood are high school tournament anglers. They are down by the water every day after school. So this fish had probably been busted up several times throughout the spawn. But uh, I came down, um, I went ahead and attacked it with my favorite bed fish and lure. And uh, well, here's what happened. So I pitch back as quickly as possible into the bed, knowing that the, the bass has, you know, followed the vigilante off the bed. But then when he gets back to defending the bed, that vigilante is going to be right back there where he had previously just watched it leave. So it's got to be a confusing, frustrating process for the bass. I'm sure the bass is, is wondering, you know, what got slipped into his breakfast cereal in the morning because, you know, he's, he's seeing things for sure. And right there you see him following the vigilante outside the bed. So you're gonna see right here, the fish actually grabs the vigilante. And you'll see my line kind of trail off to uh, the left of the video camera uh, footage here. So um, that fish has it, he's moved it off the bed. I don't set the hook because I'm not sure he has the bait completely in his mouth. So the bass has picked up the vigilante several times. He's moved it several times and uh, I've got to get back to work. So we let him have it. And that right there, folks, is how it's done. So why is the vigilante such an effective bait on bedded fish? You know, I don't know why. I, I did design it to displace a ton of water, and it does just that. Um, you know, when rigged the way it's intended, with all the appendages flying free, uh, that thing really does draw a lot of attention. All the paddles, you know, have their own unique movement and it is just something that the bass have not seen before now obviously like a lot of our baits the vigilante is designed to be highly customizable you can pull off appendages you can trim it in half and thread it on a ned rig there's a lot of things you can do with it to make it different but as it stands now it is a bait that you know has a very uh, it has a salamander or a lizard like profile and like i said it's just something they have not seen before so, you know, it's got a staple on my boat. And if you give it a try, I think it'll be a staple on yours too. So anyway, uh, that's the video short for today. Appreciate you guys watching. And if you have not commented, liked, or subscribed, please do so. And we'll see you next time. Later.